activated, I can take advantage of all of the equipment and therefore we can hopefully get some good shots. So I have a camera right. We got we'll have a camera above eventually. That'll probably be the selfie cam. So it's gonna take me an eternity to get warmed up. But it'll be worth it in the end, I think. Well no, it's definitely you know, rephrase that. It is definitely worth getting warmed up. Um I have this laptop that I've been doing my editing on, and I need to probably switch it out for a different one. But it is it doesn't have a graphics card in it, and sometimes when you're editing, graphics card helps if you have special effects. But I can't remember if it helped much for for just a regular video. Uh, so we'll maybe experiment with that, but I'd like to do some 4K editing again. I think I'm going to have to break out one of the i9s and just do editing solely on it. So if anybody's interested in the, this sleeveless hoodie I've got on, and eventually we're going to take it off. And we'll be wearing a different outfit for the video, but uh, you know, it just takes going viral once on these videos, and next thing you know, you might get a sponsorship, right? So, this is uh, Babioba B A B I O B O A, and it's a men's workout shirt, and it is. It's going to be nice when it cools off here. I'll probably wear it to the gym. Now, at my age, you know, maybe this is something most people my age would wear, but most people aren't like me at my age. I made one comment in a video and somebody said something about it. Um, I had said, you know, most people don't, can't, don't look like me or can't look like me. Um, you know, I think what I meant by that was at my age, you know, there are not that many people, um, that have as much strength as I do. While there's people that look better physically, and a lot, whole lot that work look worse, and that's in the eye of the beholder, right? Because some people might think, "I think I look terrible." The upgraded fitness bod is not for me, right? Um, not everybody can be, you know, completely jacked. Um, I know personally, I don't think I'll ever see single digits on body fat ever again. Um, I'm okay with that. Alright, so we are drinking Monster Energy today. Another hopeful sponsor. This is the uh, Tarine. No, uh... No pre-workout. I have yet, to, well that's not true. When I was overseas, I did do pre-workout, but it was I did it like once and did not don't think I ever did it again. Well, let me take that back. I did it a couple weeks. So 
I think we'll go with gloves today, folks. Gloves with wrist supports. Now, would like, I'd actually rather use my lifting straps, but. I'll spare you guys from commenting about that. All right, so. Just about going to do it for the warm up portion. So, I got a standard plate on there. Um, we'll go VTX. And then at the end, we'll put the caps on. So I'm going to switch over to the bench line. Well, we do have a original Mark Bell slingshot. And then we've got this. So original slingshot here, fake one here. I'm going to go with the fake one today. And then after this set, we'll probably put our weight belt on. And then the gut's going to look massive. More massive than it does. Um, so, after this, we will start the actual video. And this was just the warm-up. Now, ideally, folks, you're doing this at home. You'd at least jump on the, some kind of cardio equipment for 10 minutes. I would suggest, personally, the elliptical. That's going to get those arms, shoulders, pretty much um, everything you're going to use for this warmed up. Not a bad idea to warm up the core. Stretch out the back, do all those things. Now, Jim Ox, if you want to uh, sponsor me with one of your gear, I'll take some. Or Mark Bell. I'd rather have Mark Bell stuff, but um, yeah, Jim Ox would probably never watch this video. But I am pretty happy with your product, Jim Ox. I'm full that. Alright, so. That's gonna do it for the warm up, but or is it? Maybe I should do one more warm up. Nah. Should we do one more warm up? I think we'll just move on. Might want to put some collars on. Uh, Alright. Yeah, you know, that's uh when you're not sure if you're warmed up good. If you do too many warm-ups, you might fatigue. Alright, so I reset the no, this camera's done anyways. 
All right, so this is going to be the beginning of the real workout. The real workout, we just need, we need one more camera. I don't think I want the crotch shot photo, so unfortunately we can't. Can't really get a good video with the other one. So this always scares me, folks. My expensive camera up above me like this. So we got our camera set up. I think we'll switch this guy over to a slightly different angle. Hopefully, trying to avoid the rock shot, which I just kind of find disgusting in these videos, personally. <laughs> Here's some guy's video I was watching. I was like, can we get that out of your out of your crotch? It's like here to watch a bench press video, you know. I think some people just get a kick out of that kind of crap. Alright, so I don't know how the one camera's doing, but tempting to switch between the Jim Ox and the Mark Bell. So maybe we'll do we'll do Mark Bell on this one. Now I've had this for months, and so it is probably getting close to some kind of retirement for it. We also don't have our collars. We'll go from 275 to 295, 315, and then who knows from there. And we don't have a weight belt on. I don't know if anybody's ever tried to put a weight belt on with the slingshot engaged, but <laughs> it doesn't work so great. There we go. So, 275, slingshot, Mark Bell slingshot, mad dog. reps with that after going all the way up and then back down and I don't think I get anywhere near 19 on flat So we're using all kinds of new gear in this video today, folks. One, the K2 
cap eco barbell, which eventually that green paint is not going to uh, be on there. It's going to look like shit, but we got that. I wanted to get one of the seven footers for hip thrusts instead of using the five foot bar, which, why is that? Well, there's a lot more room for bumper plates. Assuming I get to that point where I need need that range. Plus, I can just switch over to deadlifts. Where if we were going to max out, I'm thinking I would need more more space. So what I'm talking about is, I don't know if there's a single camera angle that picks this up, but that distance from the outside of the bar to the, the hub. Okay, so we're gonna, I think we'll lose the hoodie. There's another outfit you can pick up on Amazon. I forgot the name of this company too, but. I don't know why somebody got this for me, but I occasionally have to wear it just because. Now the hoodie was $17.99. This tank top, hopefully that I'm wearing, hopefully you don't pay more than 10 bucks for it. If you decide to buy it, link down below. Code Waitzler, P Waitzler. Amazon doesn't give codes that I'm aware of. Um, oh, what was I was going to say, so yeah, Cap Eco Bar got that I think for $50, $53, seven foot bar. Um, don't remember what the max poundage is 500, 700, whatever. I was looking for the balance from because I wanted to. Get the absolute cheapest bar. That just shows you, you know, our level of uh, income on my channels. We gotta go with the cheaper shit. But yeah, so a couple uh, things of new clothing. Bunch more uh, tank tops coming in. We be sporting those. Try it on and uh, wearing, actually wearing them for workouts. And then I also um, will have the cap. 45 pound plate on here next and then tomorrow or Monday we will use the Titan Fitness utility bench uh, which you can use for overhead or military however you folks want to describe military overhead it's more of a not quite 90 degree like an 80 83, let's say 83 to 87 degrees, somewhere in there. Um, and then there's also, you know, using the incline bench, a slight more incline, which will allow you to possibly get a little bit of your upper peck in, which you'll see people like Mike O'Hearn, Larry Wheels doing when they lift ridiculous amounts of weight. Okay, so we've got three cameras going, and I think four is probably just about out of space. Yep. All right, so 295. I wouldn't say we're really warming up anymore, but we're just working our way up to the heavier weight. And now this sling, either one of the slings, I wish I could get a wider grip. Um, but it is what it is. strong on the flat. <sighs> that 
felt heavy. <laughs> so I think I need to drop the, the starting point down. Dang it. The, the peg, whatever, down one because it is So, just so I can get the weight back up and maybe go a little wider on the grip. Drop this down one. It's going to be kind of big between like half inch up would be ideal versus two inches. Versus a two inch drop. Okay. So now, let's get to see the cap plates go. Now, if we get our strength back in this exercise, we potentially could put the fourth 45 on here that I have that's steel. That would be the balance from one that is not the same diameter, it looks like a 35. <coughs> so, and we do have 45 pound bumper plate as well. Check our cameras. Quite heavy because the weight belt in my gut. So I'm just trying to clean up a little. Now, if anybody would like to sponsor me by giving me a uh, barbell rack or whatever you call those things where you stick multiple barbells in, I'll take it. They'll show up in every video. We'll put it right behind the bench. I really ought to move this out some, I think. Then I could put a camera, actually I could have a camera behind me. <sighs> seeing the strain, put one right on my face, seeing how much I'm straining.
So I know we've got the bench length and it makes it easier, but you still got to get the weight off the rack. And the last half of the movement is all you. Now, if you can use the sling as a slingshot to get that weight up and over <laughs> your sticking point, then you might be able to do a lot more weight. All right, I think we've delayed long enough. I would love to have my little uh, chest pillow here. I'm not sure we're going to be able to use it with this. So I think we'll switch back to Jim Ox for this lift. Maybe we'll, we'll strike the video I was going to do because I don't think I'm going to hit the same number of weights. So we'll just gradually go up and wait and see where we end up at. My little Save my chest. folks. I was way, for some reason I was way to the uh, right. <clears throat> I don't know if we have the bench centered. So that was not impressive at all. Um, it's actually a little bit scary. So only one rep there. And actually, you guys are getting to see all kinds of new products that I got through the channel. Five pound cap. cap Olympic weights next. So we'll just try do 325. I honestly folks was thinking I would work up to about 375 with the bench swing but that set may have uh, brought reality in. All right so if you watch the videos there is a 375 set of me on decline with the spotter and I think internal timing is perfect but yeah 375 for two reps so I figured out ah, I should be able to get that for one rep on decline or in flat bench sorry and my incline numbers have been going way up But folks, I think the reality is, unless you're doing flat all the time, there's going to be a huge difference. <laughs> you do it all the time and decline, probably not as big a difference, but as we saw there, that was a big difference. All right, we're not going to screw with the little chest pad. Switch back over to Mad Dog. We're just going to do one or two, hopefully. And hopefully this time we'll pay attention. So it would appear that the bench is uh, 
over to the left a little bit. I can't figure out where I am or not. This is where you need a... Yeah, it is. <laughs> This is where you need a pendulum or whatever that thing's called. All right, that's pretty close. So it's on the rack, right? It's just not the bench with the seat itself was not lined up, which makes this an additional difficult task. And now because of the pain on this, it kind of takes away from the feeling. All right, here we go. <sighs> oh. All right, so 325 was easy enough. Now, is there a 50 pound difference I don't think there is, folks. Or is there, you know, I'm going to get another 50 pounds. Um, so I'll jump up to 335. Put the 5 back. We also picked up more 10 pound cap plates, so some of these are making their debut. Okay. I think I have 7 total. So I was expecting I'd get 3 or 4 or 335 when I put it on here, but who knows if that is even at all possible. Um, God, part of me wants to put 225 on the decline after this and rip out there. But we'll probably go to, I'm going to plan fitness and do incline. Not sure I want to screw with setting this up for incline after doing all this. Um, I'll give me a chance to take a breather while I drive over there and then start all over again, getting warmed up. Okay, so I think we're back to the gym box. I really don't like these gloves. Say get use them for a while, they kind of get a little stiff. Does provide wrist support and also less likely to get comments about the uh, using the lifting straps on them. Now, the only thing good about lifting straps in this situation is the weight's not going to roll out of your hand. Um, but I think probably most people have a complete failure is that the weight is coming out of their hand. So will that help at all is a good question, you know. 
All right, so we got to do Jim Ox next. Try not to spend too much time between sets. We're just trying to get an idea what the one or one rip max is these days. I, you know, I swear, my arms, chest, everything is just as big probably as it was when I could bench over 400 pounds in my mid 30s. But I'm using this bench line. And that last weight, where I could have got nine, ten reps back in the day, um, maybe more, I, I can't do it with this. say lightweight baby that did not feel like <laughs> Next set will be 345 or so. <sighs> now, I don't know how many separate videos I'll, I'll put up. Try and do one that's edited, a raw one. Make some YouTube shorts. So we'll be back to the bench line on this set. So 345, 30, we're currently 30 pounds from what I was estimating my one rep max would be with a slingshot. And, you know, having a spotter, a little adrenaline rush, it's it potentially is possible that we would be able to get 375. I hope I won't tap out on this next weight after this one, but we'll see. I could bring the bars back up. I think I'm gonna just do that. So we'll do this set, we'll bring the bars back up. It'll be like a touch and go or a bounce and go. Probably not gonna get to, uh, engage the slingshot totally. But I think part of the thing about the slingshot is getting your arms all the way back. Because if you saw my video where I test out how much weight it takes on the bar to get the, the barbell to actually hit my chest. Um, I think it was 155 pounds for the Mad Dog and 165 for the Gym Ox. So that is quite a bit of power needed, folks. Or power loss, I should say. <laughs> Okay, 
I would imagine our fourth camera is probably not recording. I'm sure, it's a way to increase the recording time. So one of these cameras, one of these cell phones I have used to record um, 4K and then it, they did an update and they took it away. But we still have three devices in here that will record 4K. Alright, so 345. This is the Mark Bell Slingshot Mad Dog really meant for people benching over 400. Not somebody stuck where I am. Now, if I put the, start doing the creed in again, you will see, we'll be looking at, uh, you know, 385, 400. So, at least I'm assuming. <laughs> We are probably within five to ten pounds of my flat max right now, I'm feeling. So we'll bring the bar up one. And it's the next set is going to tap it, most likely. Or my bounce. I'm lucky to get some good bounce. <laughs> Okay. So I'm starting to get tired, folks. I almost feel like we ought to just say screw it and go 365. <sighs> but. The cautionary side of me says 355. Yeah, there's some videos of me lifting a lot more weight, but those were actually done before I hit 50. And as we all know, things start to really drop off well in your 40s, but even more so in the 50s. So, 355, looks pretty good. I definitely like that better than when I use the bumper plates. So I'm kind of glad I got what I got. But uh, it would have been nice to have been stronger than I thought I was. Now, Nate, unfortunately, you know, trying to do decline is... Uh, I need a spotter. Um, I need to find actually, maybe next time some of my relatives come to visit, get two, two men instead of uh, who's been spying me. And I was thinking, we might just throw some more weight on the balance from.
Sorry folks, I am over here screwing around. Boys. We are uh, going to attempt to max out the balance form bench, balance rung. Alright, I forgot which one we were going to go to. Was it Mark Bell? Slingshot? Yeah, we just did the slingshot. Okay. So, let me just check to see if this one's recording. Jim Ox, folks. It seems to be well worth the money. Unless it separates. It seems to break. <laughs> Alright, so if we're lucky, we'll get this. Shot a gauge, um, but I think that's probably a good stopping point. That I don't think I could go too much more. Is 375 possible? Whew. I don't know. What do you guys want, huh? You want to see me fail, right? I kind of do too. Okay. Let's just, uh, we're going to do 375 final set. Now, ideally, I'd figure out a way to get this power rack up an inch or so. That's a monster burp there. So, I don't even know if this camera is getting anything besides my Let's try a different camera angle on this last set. Oh, somebody shut off. So I'm having a lot of damn video footage, folks. 
Um, this is me flexing. Lighting kind of sucks in here. And no matter where I am, I can't get good lighting. So, we'll use the Mad Dog on this next one. And if I get this, I am not going up this week. So this will be the most weight I've had on a bar for a while now. I think we'll, I think we'll put our, our hoodie back on for the set. And I would just drop down to a no shirt, but most of you don't want to see my stomach. <laughs> and then I've also been told by the wife, she does not want to see me showing off the pecs. She didn't like the profile picture. And that's fair. So we'll try to, only on OnlyFans, will you guys be able to see these. <laughs> ah, just kidding. <sighs> so if I was doing this on the decline without a spotter, I'd almost feel like I was filming my own death, you know? Now we do have we do have video proof of me doing this on the decline for a couple reps. Um, if I had a real spotter, you know when I say real spotter, like a guy my size or a young guy my size that can uh, deadlift a lot of weight, right? But uh, you know, asking your wife to to spot you, it doesn't give you a whole lot of warm and fuzzy that it's uh, going to be a successful lift. So. We, uh, we back off, you know, I'm pretty sure I could have got three reps on the decline, but decline is a lot less distance traveled and I never feel any back pain from it or this, you know, if you start bridging, um, you can start to feel some stuff. All right, mad dog. <clears throat> Slingshot or the uh, Mark Bell slingshot on this lift. This is 375, roughly. You know, whatever the barbell and the collars weigh. We're going to assume 45 pounds. Okay. So, close to my, my max probably um, I don't know <laughs> I don't know that I could have did any more than that folks we're not even gonna try though you can see 
there was some difficulty getting the getting the arms to lock out. And I'll be interested on the playback. Now, just because you know, yeah, it hit the bar with the slingshot, we would have easily have gotten. Um, What's the word, folks? With the slingshot, we would have easily gotten back off our chest. Um, God, this is amazing how close this thing is. Like, if I was young, I, mean, I would just pick that off and put it on here. So what we didn't do in our previous video for this is go above 315. This we're switching over now, screwing around. This is the balance form. Balance from, balance form here. Bench. And so, I think I stopped roughly 300 pounds. Um, we are going to do something this week. Another YouTube video, YouTube short. Uh, so this bench cost me 80 bucks on Amazon. I don't think a single person has purchased it through my Amazon associate links, which is smart because <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. But um, the one video I did on it made right at, right at 80. And the other made like 20. So we have paid for this bench. Now it's time to make a little extra profit, folks. How do we do that? Well, we're gonna we're gonna test this out a little more than we previously did. So that Actually, we don't want to be too close to these pigs. I should know where it was. Okay. So previously we put about 300 on here. I think we used the shitty um, weeder three-piece bar, which is lighter. And this bar may be lighter for all I know. But not... That bar doesn't have uh, hubs on it, so if I ever jokingly or on purpose say, oh yeah, we got shit ton of weight on here, the reality is it's, uh, it's later. <laughs> All right, so 315. We got the spider bars in effect, and you can just see those that weight really rocking. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Now, if the bench collapses, folks, when I get on there, we're in trouble. Um, now I know I can I can bench press this easily off my chest, as we just saw. If you guys watched the longer video, so I'll probably cut it, cut out, but I think we'll do a little review on this. in it. Um, all right folks this video we are somewhat reviewing the balance from weight bench 
there's a bunch of different Chinese knockoffs of this. I've got 315 on here. I think previously I put 300 something. We didn't totally max out the bench. I think it says 500 pounds. I weigh 260, so we're kind of over that. We are inside of a power cage. If the bench collapses, hopefully the weight will hit the bars, the support bars, and I will survive. Um, we're using our Chinese made Jim Ox bench sling. So folks, honestly, if you wanted to start up a business in the US and you could get around Mark Bell's patent, uh, this would be probably a good startup company. All right. Now, where are my problems with this? One, the tower is leaning scarily uh, on the left side. And so that is uh, a little, you know, it's an engineer, a mechanical engineer at that. That part does scare me. Um, and we'll just see how this goes. Oh, yeah. And the towers are kind of narrow so there's another problem for yours truly so right now we're when I'm not moving static weight for those of you that have had uh, any kind of engineering or physics um, it's about to become dynamic weight which is really where the scary part is all right So, because of the location of the, the bar and not being able to take the weight off the way I normally would. That was actually pretty damn scary, folks. Um, I was like, hey, how come this thing's not moving? And eventually it moved. Um, so it could handle 315 or so, whatever that weighs. Where the actual weight is because the bar has not been weighed. It is a steel bar all around, unlike the three piece weeder bar that I have that has plastic caps on the ends and not the same hub. Get this off the rack now those of you that <laughs> watched the longer version of this video we maxed out earlier on here well i shouldn't say maxed out i didn't have a spotter so we're using the spotter spotter bars using the mark bell 375 i probably had 380 385 in me from what i felt there um you know, I wouldn't say I would be able to get 10 more pounds, but necessarily, but somewhere between 380, 385. So, if we were to put 380, 382, 383, you know, one of those weights would probably hit. But this is way more difficult because of the supports. And how I have to bend my arm back and my shoulder and all that to get the weight off. You can see if you're looking at the, the right angle, this bar is bending big on here because of where the support's at. So not, you know, I definitely got to make sure I take the weight off here and get it off this cheap bench. And this is the last time you probably will see this bench on here. Unless I have my grandson work out on it. 
when he comes to visit. <sighs> but yeah, this this bench super cheap. So some people, man, it might work. I think this is a hundred pound or less bench presser on here. Um, you get in the two hundred pound range, it sucks. Especially because most people that do two hundred have wider, wider shoulders, um, and so that's the big annoying thing about this. Spend the extra 30, 50 bucks, get the wider bench, um, so you can get an Olympic barbell. Now, you could you use a five foot bar on this? Probably, you know, halfway decent, but getting your hands, like you want to have all this space to get your hands clear. And so, where I, my ideal spot on this bar is, is real close to that. So, that sucks. It is somewhat adjustable, but. With this kind of weight, you can see in some of the camera angles probably um, the tower is swaying a little bit, it looks like. Um, now, when I sat down on it, besides the weight, you know, that was on there, I, the bench itself felt pretty solid. And if it wasn't for I'm too lazy to stack a bunch of weight on this thing. I don't, I don't know how much weight I have, folks. I'm just buying time. Um, so we have five sets of 45s. So that's 450. 55 or 500. Um, 35s, two sets of 35s. So realistically, we could put 600 pounds on this bench to see if it collapses. Maybe I'll do that in another video because... I don't see myself putting this up on YouTube trying to sell it. Not YouTube, Craigslist. Uh, I don't have Facebook, so you'll never see me put that on Facebook. And so I'll probably, I'll probably edit, um, edit this video. All right, so we use the Mark Bell slingshot on this next one. <sighs> if we can get the weight off of the rack. This is where you need a spotter just to hand you the weight. So I'm going to, to protect my hand, I'm going to go wider, which opens up the shoulder to more injury and the chest. What did I say this was? 325? Is a touch and go accident or what? Oh my god. All right, well, there you go. That's going to do it for today's flat bench workout. Um, not very impressive, I will say. I'm actually kind of disappointed. Uh, we did hit the one rep max, we'll say 375, maybe a little higher. We got plenty of workout videos ahead of us, hopefully, unless. This dumbass 50 year old hurts himself at some point, but thanks for checking out the video. And cut you off.
Oh, we're missing it. We're missing cell phone somewhere. Oh, whoops, we forgot a camera, folks. <laughs>